So, happy 2020, guys. I've got some breaking news. Well, guys, this isn't breaking news. I could have told you this back when Spider-Man 3 got revealed. So, you cannot have a movie unless the actors actually film a movie. So, Deadline kind of dropped a scoop, which it wasn't really actually a scoop. It is just saying that Spider-Man 3 is going to shoot before the release date of July 2021. So, there has been some stories going around the community that... Spider-Man 3 has some breaking news or something like that. And basically, I'm going to break down the truth to you. So, I, guys, I could have told you this over six months ago. I could have told you this back at San Diego Comic-Con, back when they revealed Spider-Man. Because we all knew Spider-Man 3 was coming in 2021, even though there was this big drama about, is Spider-Man going to be in the MCU? Isn't he going to be in the MCU? Regardless to if he isn't or if he is this movie was always coming out in 2021 so let's break down what has happened so there is some information okay not a lot of information but there is some minor information of spider-man 3 as we know spider-man 3 is coming out in july 16th 2021 okay so guys comment down below how can they this movie come out in 2021 without them shooting it so guys they've got i'm going to break down hollywood's biggest industry secret to you guys i've never really told anyone this before but in order to have a movie come out in cinema theaters you call in the us you've got to shoot the movie you've got to actually put the movie into production there's post-production and to be honest guys there isn't really much turnaround time when you actually shoot a movie post-production because as you know these marvel movies they overuse cgi so you have a movie a movie can be shot in anything from two months to eight months generally a movie takes five months to shoot then you have three to five months post-production so this story says this uncharted extends holland's relationship with the studio it remains a priority project for the studio which has seen several directors come and go so essentially what's happening is deadline is reporting an uncharted star tom holland obviously sony is making uncharted sony is uncharted uncharted is one of the most popular franchises in the video game industry ever at least if you're a Sony fan. So what's happened is Spider-Man is always going to be top for Sony. It's their highest grossing movie. Far From Home, okay, let's be careful how I word this. Spider-Man Far From Home had a gross turnover of 1.1 billion. That's at least the public knowledge. It didn't make that money because I see a lot of misconstrued information because if you don't understand business, it made right it grossed right turnover so it didn't make 1.1 billion it's not gross profit it's not like spider-man far from home made 1 billion in profit no no that that would make it one of the most successful movies ever no it turned over so you got to understand most movies on that caliber will have like 200 million dollars marketing budget it will cost two to three hundred million dollars to make it so realistically out of that 1.1 billion it's probably made four to five hundred million dollars maybe and then the cinema also gets a cut of the profits and stuff so it didn't make that so spider-man essentially is is sony's most popular movie and they will always prioritize that over anything else so essentially why everyone on the internet is freaking out about this news i don't really understand why is essentially all this says is that the uncharted movie has got a new director now because they've had to shift this around as you know mark Wahlberg is is linked to uncharted and so is tom holland but they're both still in with it so essentially i'm going to break down this this news okay the actor will shoot next summer okay no details now this does not actually even mean the script is done because next summer so like i said guys it comes out in july the 16th 2021 so essentially if they start shooting july 2020 that means they've got one year turnaround time so the script is not finished yet there's no information in this to say the script is done and even if they do say that i don't believe deadline because deadline has not given us a specific date say next summer next summer generally the summer is three to four months long it depends where you live and what you define as summer but generally summer is the summertime so it's going to start shooting sometime in the summer and that's a duration of three to four months could start in june could start in september depends what you define this summer as so yeah they're going to start shooting a movie before this movie comes out. As we know, Spider-Man 3 was up in the air for such a long time because, you know, Sony wasn't happy with the deal they had. And to be fair, it's it is, it is it's president, the president's there because, you know, this movie is a Sony movie. Yes, I know there's a new deal, but Sony still has the majority share. Sony owns the rights to the movie. So the breaking news is that there actually isn't any breaking news because, like I just explained to you guys, you cannot get a movie to the big screen. You know, Eternals is currently shooting right now. It's still shooting but washed you it comes out in november like i said guys 
there is a really small turnaround time depending on how much CGI there will be. So the Eternals movie will stop shooting, I believe, in February. It comes out in November. That is more than enough time to work on the CGI and overuse CGI like Marvel does. So generally, I'm going to break this stuff down to you. So generally, like, you know, The Witcher 2, they're going to start shooting in February, start shooting in February, and then they'll shoot the whole season. And then post-production, they'll work on the graphics, they'll work on the magic and all that kind of stuff. So generally, I've just taught you how the Hollywood world works. So please subscribe and let me know down below and comment, guys. So I've just explained to you that you cannot actually get a movie to the big screen without shooting it. I mean, uh, I mean, I've been sent this story by loads of people over the last 24 hours telling me, what's new? Major Spider-Man news. And then I read the story. It's like, so you're telling me it's just a story about Spider-Man starting shooting. It's like, guys, I could have told you that. I've told you this. It's going to have to shoot. Most movies shoot generally a year before they come out. You know how Shang-Chi is coming out in 2021? And guess what, guys? They're just about to start shooting that as well. You know, Doctor Strange 2. Yep, you, you got it, guys. They're starting to shoot that soon. You know, Loki. Yep, they're starting to shoot that. That comes out in 2021. There's a pattern emerging here. There is a pattern emerging. So essentially, every movie coming out in 2021, you know, guys, they will be shooting it this year. It's not really that hard to work out. Let, let, let's do another trick. Okay, The Batman, 2021. Yeah, you got it. They're going to start shooting it in January. Yeah, they're going to have a much wider range of time, well over a year to make that. Okay, you got it, guys. Black Adam, yeah, they're going to start shooting that in the summer. Yeah, you, you got it. Okay, that comes out Christmas 2021. So generally, movies start shooting over a year before they're released. So I don't really understand why everyone is freaking out about this Spider-Man news. I know you guys love Tom Holland. Tom Holland is a good friend of mine. Yeah, Tom Holland's cool. He really is cool. So what other details came out of this, this press outlet from Deadline? Um, it said this, we have no idea what the Spider-Man 3 plot is will offer. It's too early for major leaks. Yeah, like I said, guys, it is too early for leaks, but you know, you guys love the Reddit videos, you love the 4chan videos. So we've been over some potential plot leaks already. So it says, but whatever happens in the third installment of Spider-Man, Marvel will use a superhero in at least one other MCU movie. As we know, he's got another movie as well. So that is going to have to be either a 2022 one or a 2022 one or 2023. Because if Marvel are going to extend their deal again, you get a, you essentially get a Spider-Man movie every two years. Yeah. 2019, 2021, you know, do the maths, add two to that, and then you get to 2023. So if they are going to have another deal, then he's going to have to be in someone else's movie before 2023. So essentially, do we know anything about Spider-Man 3? No, not really. I'm actually really looking forward to the Uncharted movie because it is such a massive game on the PlayStation and it will be Sony's technically first adaptation of a video game going into the big screen and then maybe they can do some stuff like God of War later down the road. But it is awesome that they've got Tom Holland, who is a very cool actor, and Mark Wahlberg linked to it. So we're going to go over some other Tom Holland-based rumors, which are very fascinating, but again, not really based on anything. So... There is a rumor going around based on a Twitter user called Daniel Richmond. I don't know what that means. Probably doesn't mean anything. But he said on his Patreon, so let me get this straight. You're making people pay to use your Patreon. And then it's different information added on websites anyway. So essentially, it says that Tom Holland could appear in Venom 2 as Peter Parker. But then in the same scoop, it says negotiations might not happen. This might not happen. It might happen. It might not. So realistically, this is just not really a rumor or a scoop. It's just literally saying that it could happen, but there isn't actually any evidence. I like to base stuff off evidence. I'm a science guy. There is no evidence in this article to suggest anything is going to happen. If Holland has a cameo in Venom 2, even if he appears as Peter Parker, not Spider-Man, it will effectively confirm that universes are somehow connected. If Marvel really wants to keep the worlds different, though, the studios may establish that Venom takes place in a different universe within the multiverse if not done well, though Sony and Marvel risk confusing casual moviegoers who don't really know anything. So essentially what this is saying is, you know the information when they broke the new deal, when, you know, they said that Spider-Man was the only character in the multiverse, in the whole universe, you can cross cinematic universes. Yeah, it's just clarifying that. So I, do I believe this rumor? I, I don't really believe this rumor. Because, you know, it, it could happen because, you know, Amy Pascal, who, yes, she works for Universal Studios now. Yeah, she's still involved in the Spider-Man stuff. She says that Tom Holland going forward would be involved in literally everything. Into the Spider-Verse 2, Venom, all the other spin-off shows. So, yeah, literally, guys, this, this story could be dropped by anyone, including myself. 
And yeah, it just makes sense to throw Peter Parker in there. So I don't know if this scooper is right, but just because he kind of in the scoop, it just said it might not happen. It might happen. It might not. Like if information is correct, you need to be concrete and articulate yourself well, not just say, oh, it could happen. It might not happen, but I don't know. But so, so what is the point of dropping a scoop if you don't even know if it's true? So guys, let me know. Do you want Peter Parker to be in Venom 2? And this is essentially the information that all the scoopers on... Okay, I'm going to stop calling them scoopers. All the people on Twitter are saying there's going to be some massive news that everyone's going to freak out about and everyone's going to hate. No, if you are a Spider-Man fan, you would want Spider-Man, Peter Parker, in the same universe as Carnage, the same universe as Venom, the same universe as She-Venom, the same universe as Toxin, the same universe as all the other Spider-Man-based characters. Why would you want Spider-Man to coexist in the MCU where there is no Spider-Man-based villains unless so Sony allows the MCU to use them. So it's going to be very weird. I do think they're going to break down negotiations again. I do think that this, this deal will break because essentially you cannot have the Green Goblin storyline. You can't have the Sinister Six unless Sony's like, yeah, you can use them, man. Until it's a 50-50 cut, which will never happen. And I don't believe Sony should do that. It's never going to happen. So it's going to be very interesting. I've got no idea how I'm going to title this video because this video is about me essentially explaining to you guys that in order to get Spider-Man three on your screen that's what guys tom holland's actually got to do some work he's got to film it it's not like the they cgi it's so much where tom holland just comes into a recording studio and starts talking no they can't do that if, if, if they did do that he wouldn't need to shoot anything i guess in the future maybe they can do that so courtesy of daniel richmond maybe venom and spider-man might meet in venom too but there realistically isn't even any information about that is there I don't know. But also, there is Morbius coming out next year, which is going to be freaking awesome, and we are looking forward to that. And there are rumors that Tom Holland, Spider-Man himself, could be in that, Peter Parker. I mean, it would make sense. They've got time to do reshoots. Just throw him in everything, because it, yeah, at the end of the day, he is a Sony character. He's not a Marvel character. He's not an MCU character. you got to think of who actually owns the rights to the character when it comes to movies. So like always, guys, let me know everything down below. Do you want to see Spider-Man 3? Are you shocked? that they are actually shooting a movie called Spider-Man 3 one year before the movie comes out. I'm not shocked, but I'm shocked that a lot of other people were shocked about that. And also, guys, it won't be long before the rumors will start that Spider-Man is going to appear in Deadpool or Deadpool is going to appear in Spider-Man 3. Them rumors will cut out, guys. Trust me, them rumors will start coming up soon. So like always, guys, please like, subscribe, and comment if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitch at Warstu. Follow me on YouTube. You're on my channel now. Follow me on Instagram, Warstu. Just type Warstu and follow me on everything. That'll be much appreciated. And I will catch you in another video very soon. Catch ya. Later.